let's see how to prepare our clipboards to upload into Customly. This is important if you are going to use clipboards with different sizes, for example for hairstyles, when you can have short or long hair. As you can see, clipboards for short hair are smaller than the clipboards for long hair. If we place them without editing into Customly, they will resize to fit the area automatically, and they won't look good. So let's see how to resize them before uploading them into Customly. For this example, we will use Photoshop to resize the different hairstyles, but you can use any image editing software of your preference. To edit the clip arts, you will need of course all the images for the different hairstyles and the clip art of the body to use as a reference. If you already have all your clip arts placed in a Photoshop file, you can use that. If not, then follow these steps. Create a new file with transparent background. Make sure the size of the file is enough to fit all the different hairstyles in the size you need for printing. Usually, 500 by 500 pixels will do. Drag the clip art for the body and place it on the file. This will be our reference to resize the hairs, so make sure you see enough body to place the long hairstyles as well. Once the body is placed, you can start bringing hairstyles. Select all the clip arts from one hairstyle, drag them, and hit enter to place them on the file. Then select all the layers and group them with Ctrl or Command G and rename the group. Select the group and resize it until it fits the body properly. Usually, the width of the head is one third of the width of the shoulders. If it helps, you can add guidelines to make the resizing easier. Once this hairstyle is ready, you can move on to the next one. Drag and hit enter, group, and resize. Then repeat with all the different hairstyles. This resizing method can be used for any type of clip art. For example, if your product offers different dog breeds, you should resize them as well. In that case, just open one breed to use as a reference and then resize the rest accordingly. Once you have all the hairstyles resized, it's time to export them as PNGs. You can export all clip arts at the same time or separately by styles. Make visible only the layers you want to export, and remember to hide the body. Then, go to File, Export, and choose to export layers to files. This will create a separate PNG file for each clip art. Choose the folder where you want to save them, and add a prefix to the file name if you'd like. Make sure you choose to export visible layers only, in PNG format, and that transparency is enabled, and trim layers is disabled. Then, click Run to start exporting. The exporting might take a while if you have many clip arts, so be patient. If you are exporting each category separately, like I'm doing, then repeat the process. Once everything's exported, you'll have some brand new clip arts with the correct size and position for your design. Let's upload them in Customly to see how they work. As you can see, all the different hairstyles are now positioned and sized perfectly. Although this editing might take a while, it's something you will only need to do once. After you edit them and upload them to Customly, you will be able to reuse them in all your products. If you have any questions, just reach out to our team. They are Clipart Masters ready to help.